YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Never fear, Logan J is here. Back with another review. Yes, I'm going to keep pumping them out. Normally, I release like one, two, but it's just so many. I, I fell behind, and it's just uh, I need to get them out because it just gets later and later. At least they're still like not like a year later. Like I had the, the sneaker done, and then I released it like a year later with the uh, Yeezy Ye Shields. I'm like, I had them done. I just never released it. It just was like, I had other ones that I wanted to release. And then, so with these, I'm going to try to, you know, get them out. It's going to be a little bit more videos on the feed, but, you know, I need to get them out and whatnot. So, um, and uh, let's get into the uh, review. As far as this pickup, I was not able to get them at retail. Sometimes it goes that way. Um, I'm very fortunate for the most part. I got a lot of uh, ones um, at retail. So if it's every once in a long time that I gotta pay, you know, and um, it is what it is. I really wanted these. Um, it sucks that the prices are very high and I haven't seen Air Jordan 1 go this high in the longest. I, I don't know which, this is a, uh, Air Jordan 11 pricing. This doesn't happen to the Air Jordan 1. I believe when the Shattered Backboard 1.0s came out in 2015, in June, they were going for 3, 3, 25, 350, somewhere in there for a whole bunch of months before they went up to like 4, 4, 25, 450, where now after the last dance, because everybody had to, can't see the, the Chicago, the real shattered backboards go up high as they did. People went crazy and they wanted those. We had a little bit of a surge of new collectors after they saw that documentary. Probably seen eBay commercials, authentication, StockX, Go commercials and like, oh, okay, easy, boom, I'll buy it, boom. Prices skyrocketed past the shattered backboard because they were the highest Jordan 1 GR going for the longest, but when that came out, that sh they just jumped over it. They were going for like 700, and then they went up to like 1500 in no no time. And so, um, but with these, the mocha, the dark mochas, they were already 350, and then they went to four. Now they're 450. They're already pushing five. So it is insane. These things, I got them as soon as I could. Um, uh, all I can say is I saved some money when I got them. So, got your Air Jordan 1, and that's not saying anything great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's gonna, I'm still getting a better deal than somebody that's uh, paying for them in a year. Um, because these things are just going up and up and up. Um, it, it, it's crazy, the uh, Travis Scott effect that's going on. Um, so... Let's get into the review. This one comes with a stamp right here. Oh. Get you an up close look at this tag right there. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Sale. Black Dark Mocha and Black Retail 170. Style code 555088. 105. Tissue paper here. Again, was not able to pick them up at retail. Stock X. You got your sticker there. Extra set of sale laces there. And that's it. Just got that really quick. there Woo! so yeah uh, let's get into the review and I got a quick couple comparisons and whatnot I want to take too long it's already five minutes you got your black outsole there 
you got your sail midsole sail stitching going right there uh, you got a uh, leather and what feels like a nubuck on the heel um, there is a little bit of of a brush stroke there you can see a little bit of a change don't know if you'll be able to see it in camera it is there but nothing nothing major is what I'm gonna say um, the leather is a good leather it's a smooth leather no tumble going throughout it's all um, smooth so you get your black on the toe box area here going up to the eye stays and on the swoosh then you have the sail um, perforated toe box there uh, sail on the mid panel here and by the ankle collar there as well as in the medial uh, you got your black set of laces that come with it you got your sail tongue it's not white it's a sail and then at the top you have a uh, sail Nike Air lettering with a black tab there going on sail piping black sock liner how your shoe tree looks black insole Nike Air uh, lettering in sale and production date 5 4 20 7 17 20 do a quick comparison um, we got the obsidians here which these um, didn't take off as high as these did it's very similar you know you got your navy obsidian uh, colorway there sail um, this has tumbled leather on it um, these are going about the same price right now so these are just insane what people are wanting. Uh, you got your black toes here. Not even these, the OGs, went up this high this quick. You know what I'm saying? The ones that are basically being inspired from. These are it. You know, but this is white. This has got that sale. I mean, it would be nice to see this. I mean, they could do it. Uh, but then, you know, you don't know what, what people will be saying. Why'd you do that? Why, you know, why'd you make them sail? Just give us the OGs. Just stop doing that. Don't, don't do things like that. They can if they want. Um, so they did the, um, the women's release, the satin version, you know, but that still was white. And um, so, but, uh, but yeah, here it is. And... The reason why these are going for what they're going for are these, and the material is not the same. The Travis Scott's is a lot better. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. This is a great sneaker um, in its own, just like everyone else says. I agree. I needed these fire, um, but. Uh, there's no comparison as far as the materials. This is tumble leather and um, a, more of a premium nubuck on the upper here. It is um, just it's a collab. I mean, what more can you say? You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, but yeah. And then two um, recently, and I wasn't able to get the Vault uh, Air Jordan ones. Um, I tried, but um, no. I tried for releases, but on release date on Nike, I worked nights and then um, I set the alarm and I just went back to sleep within a minute. I just just did not get up, just went back to sleep, did not try. I really wanted them. Not enough to fight my sleep because it's hard. That was my first night, but um, you know he uh, he was seen in an Obsidian pair, so if those release. Um, and if he does like a high version, that would be 
like this. I don't know. I, I don't remember if that was all leather. If it was the leather, I don't remember right now, or was it the new buck um, for those lows that he has? So um, he has them in an obsidian colorway. There is a big difference. It is like a silver swoosh there, but still, it is basically this one on a low with a silver swoosh, which is still the same thing. Even with the low that he did um, for the uh, for the Air Jordan One low, that has a white swoosh. So, I mean, there's going to be a little uh, tweaks here and there, but um, I don't know. That's more of a, a homage, homage to um, the Houston Oilers again because you know they use those colors which are now the Tennessee Titans. Basically, they're the same team. They just got their name switched and the city changed. But um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens with those. Um, if he does do, like, um, I mean, they're doing it already, though. So it's kind of like, what? But, I mean, it's close, but not the same. Because, you know, this is coming out um, with a new buck material. All on the upper, similar to Chicago color blocking with this one, which this one is. And then um, you got the other one that looks like a, a turbo green um, with the faded look. But they could do this same thing um, with that and then your uh, blue swoosh. So Jordan, they, they, they can keep doing these uh, little mini tweaks and color blocking uh, things here and there. And they could add the more layered, you know, uh, another swoosh on the back. And, you know, eh. they're going to be tweaking these forever. They've done a lot of uh, experimentation on the Air Jordan 1 mid. And any of those colors, they could easily put them onto the highs. So um, there's so many uh, variants out there and so much more they can do. It is insane. So this is very versatile sneak versatile sneaker Air Jordan 1 and they're gonna keep doing stuff slowly people like oh won't they just stop and they're not gonna stop it's a lot of money to be made um, they're cheap and um, they can price them up high you know what I'm saying before they were cheap and they were price cheap but now they see there's they're more of a premium 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 everybody wants the Air Jordan 1 that's it it's like it went from being like low tier, top tier, you know, especially because of the leather. And um, if they ever did like super quality leathers, which they did that on um, one year, um, 2015, for the Pinnacle series, they were charging $400. So that's on the low end. They could easily charge designer prices. Don't mean they should, but they easily can. Um, and that's when people will be like, yeah, I'm not trying to pay all that. So. They'll be sitting more than likely. They try to charge like a thousand, but you st if they make them readily available, which it'll be losing on their end, um, you know, people will try to look for a sale and stuff. But um, it's a very uh, difficult balance that they got to maintain to keep the one in the sneaker. So that's a different, uh, long rabbit hole conversation. Be talking for forever about that. But yeah, YouTube just. Uh, I got <laughs> talking about that uh that Travis um release when we're here for the uh Mocha ones which is the fire sneaker um quite possibly the number one Air Jordan uh 2020 you know they did a great job you know what I'm saying I mean people want to put uh the Dior's at number one that's not for the average person. Nobody's paying two thousand dollars. That's basically what I was saying. And then anybody that did get them, they're trying to make money off of them. They're not trying to keep them. They're trying to get celebrity money, like people that are celebrities or just rich people. That that's a sneaker for those people, not for the average person. There's gonna be a, a few that are gonna be like, oh no, I need those and I want to wear them, and that's how they want to be known. But for the most part, everybody just wants them and resell them or trade them for other stuff that they couldn't get. Um, be able to get something for two thousand and say you want to pay, um, you want to get a fragment or something or off white. Um, you could do sell that one and and you get both of them. So, but yeah, YouTube just wanted to bring you this quick 
well not so quick review and comparison hope you enjoyed this your boy logan j and i'm signing out peace